guys, it is Amon95 here back with another video, and today I'm gonna be looking over all of my branding stuff I got for Christmas. Um, I wanted to say before we get into this video, happy holidays. I hope everyone had a very good holiday. Hope everyone was safe, and I hope there's no hardships. <laughs> so, first off, we're gonna start on the layout with probably one of the things I think is pretty cool passenger cars. I do not have a lot of passenger cars. Y'all know that I have one or two minus cabooses. So we have actually a lot of German passenger cars. This is, well, I do not know because <laughs> I can't, I can't read German. <laughs> and this is a, a wagon. Wagon. I I said this looks like the um, passenger cars from the Orient Express. I have no idea where it's from or what it is, but I still think it looks very cool. As the German style couplings, still have to replace those for NEM or hook and loop. And then we have this, which is Mithropia, which I want to say this I know is in German, but I'm not for. 100%. Also, this one does have interior detail and has lights, but the wheels are very badly rusted, so I have those taken out right now, and hopefully gonna get some of the rust off. Same with this coach. This one is actually um, French, because voiture is car, restaurant, so dine this is a dining car, you can see actually there's interior detail, little lamps and tables, and a little bathroom back there. This one is also lit, but same story with the rusted wheels. So then I'm sure you'll see my Flying Scotsman and my Princess Victoria. Oh wait, my Princess Victoria? Is that new? <laughs> yes, so this is my new Hornby Trying Princess Victoria. Um, it's in pretty good shape. I have had to repair this um, piston housing because it had broken off. Definitely needs to be cleaned and a bit more in depth restored. I just, yesterday on Christmas Day, took some isopropyl alcohol, cleaned out the commutator, and cleaned off the brushes and just made sure it would run better. Gave it a tiny bit of oil made it so it runs and the difference in between then and now is remarkable so i'm really excited to see where it goes in the future with that but also we do have a removable coal load in here which i can't get out <laughs> at all so very excited about this locomotive it does have a bit of a damaged tender decals that kind of rubbed off um but the locomotive is pretty much in mint condition looks very good. I really love how it looks, especially right next to my Flying Scotsman. That is really cool. And coming with it are these Hornby Blood and Custard coaches. Mm, mm. If anyone who's been watching the channel for a while knows, I love the look of Blood and Custard coaches. Absolutely love them. Probably my favorite coach scheme ever. <laughs> um, and actually, when it came... The locomotive was in this box, and the tender was just wrapped in bubble wrap. Well, upon close inspection, this is obviously not the box that came in from the factory, so don't know what I'm going to do with that box, but I'm not going to be putting the locomotive back in it just because it does not fit correctly. It had bent the front coupling hook, which was very bad. But also, now if we come over here, we have some more model routing stuff, yay. So we have a magazine, awesome. We have two Digitrax DCC decoders, a whole box of OOHO wheels, and small screws and washers. And we have, that's not new, <laughs> this. This is an old roundhouse kit in mint condition. This is to build a Union Pacific Prairie locomotive, but because 
I can, I'm gonna take this silicone, which I got, two tubes, and make molds of the chassis for the tender and locomotive and piston and make it so if I need, I can make replacement parts and such. Um, there's a lot of loose parts too. Kind of concerning, but can't tuck those back in today. Every day, every day. They're not there. Either way, this is really cool. This is the first type of kit I've gotten like this, and I'm very excited for this. So, and that's all on the model rarity aspect. Um, besides one thing, which is coming in the mail, but that deserves its own video. So, I think. I'm gonna actually end this video off with running my new Princess Victoria around the layout and seeing how she gets along. Because I have been running her under the Christmas tree on Christmas Day. All right, let's reverse. She does actually do a very good crawl, this locomotive, surprisingly. So it's not bouncing on the sleepers, which is a good start. Oh, now it's bouncing on the sleepers. I was looking to haze through the engine shed. Right. Seems to manage that. How about my point work? Oh. Oh. Yellow. Yeah. Well, that is not too bad. Actually, quite surprised. Quite happy with it, too. And you can definitely expect videos of me running my Flying Scotsman with these blown custard coaches, because that is something I have always wanted to do, and I absolutely love it. So I hope y'all had a good Christmas, a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.